Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we'll continue uh, the rest of the tutorial regarding to factorial experiment, more specifically the triple factorial experiment scheme in CRD and more specifically in the experimental uh, design uh, um, package. And in the previous tutorials we tried to see a uh, factorial experiment for uh, two factors, so today we'll continue uh, for three factor in completely randomized uh, design. So the function to compute triple uh, factorial uh, experiment in completely randomized design is to use uh, uh, you have to use fat uh, which is stands for factorial then three dot CRD. So you are uh, referring that three factor for completely randomized design and followed by the first factor, then the second factor, then the third factor, and again you have to put here the response variable that you are going to compute. Then again you have to indicate the uh, here is quali means you are telling to R whether your uh, treatment is uh, qualitative or quantitative. So when you just write qualitative is equal to true, so R will consider your treatment is qualitative. Then we have, since we have three uh, different factors, so you have to say true, 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 like this. Then here is an M comp, it's obvious uh, for all of you, it is a multiple comparison. And if you remember, we tried to see a lot of uh, uh, multiple comparison tests like Tacky like least significance difference like Duncan and etc. So that's on the basis of your uh, preference. And again here the FAC dot names which stands for for example if uh, your factor is designated by X by Y or by Z and if you want to write in the full uh, in the full language so you have to assign any name that you want. So here is F1, F2, F3 and even you can write um, uh, on the basis of your uh, factors. Then this, the two parameters are uh, obvious significance SIDT which is called 0 0.05 which, is, which means for the multiple comparison you are setting the alpha level 0 0.05 the default one and again the uh, SIGF which is called 0 0.05 means for uh, ANOVA, the F value of ANOVA and the default is 0 0.05. So I already imported my data and as you can see here, here is the variety which is stand, which is in the form of var or water. Here is the drip irrigation and the flow irrigation method. And again also the, here is the PGR which stands for uh, plant growth regulator and as you can see here is CC and uh, PVZ. And in the case of varieties, we have three levels, how we call RA and uh, Bosset varieties. And again, with water regime, the drip irrigation and the flow irrigation. So we have three different factors. And the remaining uh, column except uh, column four are our response uh, variable. So for the sake of this tutorial, I only selected uh, the plant head and you can uh, do the rest one and I will put the code as well as the uh, data for your uh, practice. So let's come to our issue. So you have to attach uh, your uh, data or our data. Then immediately you have to go to the uh, computation. So you have to use part 3 dossierd then our first factor is var, as you can see in our data is var and followed by water and should be followed by PGR and similar to our data name. So var, water, PGR, then again here is a pH that means planted. So for example, let's change if you want uh, which one is uh, good, let's AG, BY. So you can convert this into AG, AGBY. Then uh, qualitative, it's called so true, true, true. Why? Because our uh, factors are qualitative. They are not 
quantitative. So you have to put uh, true, true, true. But if your um, treatment is a, uh, quantitative, uh, this uh, package will not compute the uh, multiple uh, comparison. So it's better to use uh, when you have uh, such like uh, data. Then the first one is the var, the fact, uh, the FAC dot names or the factors names. Uh, since it's the first one is var, so I write a variety. Then irrigation type, you can write the full, but it's a sake of uh, teaching, so no need to write the full uh, language. Then again, here is the gross uh, red letter. Then these are 0 0.05. So type this and submit to our studio. So as you can see, you can get detailed information. Unfortunately, uh, before that, here is the legend. The factor one is the variety. The factor two is irrigation type. The factor three is gross regulator. And when, when we come to analysis of variance, uh, unfortunately, all uh, uh, simple as well as uh, interaction effect are not statistically significant because uh, as you can see here all uh, values are greater than 0 0.05 so if it is greater than 0 0.05 that means there is no statistically significant difference among the variety among the irrigation type among the gross regulator even among the interaction of the variety and irrigation type, variety and gross regulator, and the irrigation type and gross regulator, as well as finally variety, irrigation type, and gross regulator. So we are not expecting uh, or we are not going to uh, compute the mean separation test. So uh, uh, this uh, package will not, uh, will not go for displaying all similar letters, a, 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 such like things. So uh, by this way, you can get, um, for example, the variety, there is no difference. Irrigation type, there is no difference. Again, also here is the gross regulator, there is no difference. So no significant interaction, uh, as well as no main and interaction effect are not uh, uh, significant. Even you can get a p-value, but uh, uh, here also you can get the assumption to check the assumption of normality, but you can't get uh, for uh, homogeneity or equal uh, variance. So this is all about today's tutorial regarding to uh, three, uh, three factor uh, or triple factor in a completely randomized design using experimental design or EXPDS package in our software. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.